<laughs> this will be an interesting stream. Hi, everyone. Or maybe hi, hi, every one. Like maybe one person's in chat right now, probably. Oh, there's a couple of you. Hi. <laughs> it's really early. The sun is, I can see a little bit of light in the sky. It is slowly starting to raise the sun. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna play a little bit of Stardew Valley this morning. <laughs> I, um, I have a flight to TwitchCon later today, and so I don't have a ton of time, but I wanted to stream one last time before I have to go, so <laughs> I thought I would pop in. Also, you literally just missed Snap. Snap left here like two seconds ago. I was like, please, please stay until I go live, and then she didn't. So that's sad. <laughs> Everyone's like, where's Snap? Well, you missed her. <laughs> she was here a second ago. Kayla, what are you doing at 7 a.m.? Yeah, I know. What I'm doing is going to TwitchCon. Okay, anyway. Um, let me get my game prepared so that you can see it. I thought we could play some, some Stardew. Have fun at TwitchCon. Thanks, Jess. I'm excited. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. I'm having some sort of complicated emotions about it. <laughs> Which makes sense. 702 is wild. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. It's really early compared to when I normally stream. It's better. Um, it's better for, for some folks. If you're like in Europe, maybe it's a slightly better time. Maybe you're getting ready for work and it's a great time. It's, it's a little weird though. <laughs> what time do I get to that? Like how long am I going to go? go live for. I don't have a ton of time to stream this morning, so I, I probably shouldn't be live for too long at all. Um, but I guess we will see. <laughs> Faith, Definitive, and Doodle, and Sandra, and Mira, and Chloe, and MZ, and Weechi, thank you all for the subs, everybody. Okay, I also have a, a sort of exciting announcement. And the exciting announcement is that the kittens slept in my bed all night. So today was day two of, uh, or last night was day two of, of letting the kittens into my room overnight because we've been sort of experimenting with Snap's comfort levels and stuff. And previously for the past few weeks, my room has been like snappy safe zone, but I was going to try and see during the day yesterday, like, could she handle the kittens in there? And what we discovered is that Snap is actually nicer to them in there. I, it's like maybe she feels safer, so she's like more comfortable, but <laughs> it went really well yesterday, um, all, all day and the day before all day. Sorry, I guess it's been a couple days now. Um, and so the last two nights, the kittens have slept in my room this morning. I woke up at 2 a.m. thinking that it was like 6 a.m. and I was going to get up to stream. Turns out it was 2, so that was good because I went back to sleep. But at 2 a.m. I woke up and both the kittens were on me. Like shrimp was next to me and Sunny was at my feet. And then I woke up again at six and they were still there. So that made me kind of want to cry a little bit. Like I, I'm feeling a, a deep amount of guilt about leaving them to go to TwitchCon. <laughs> My family's going to be taking care of them, but it's like, it's not the same, you know, as me being here. So I'm feeling a lot of guilt because they were both sleeping with me for hours last night. Usually Snap will stay for like about an hour at bedtime and then come back in the morning and stay for like about an hour again. Like she's probably usually there from like 11 to, to midnight one ish. And then she comes back from like around six or seven. Um, but, uh, the kittens were there like in the, in the middle time, <laughs> which was kind of cute. Um, so I, that made me kind of happy to, to see them stay there this morning. Um, and I don't know. They know I'm leaving, maybe, but, but the kittens, they don't have the same, like, awareness level as Snap does. Like, obviously, Snap, she sees suitcase, she says, you're ditching me. The kittens, what's a suitcase? <laughs> they never seen one of those. <laughs> they don't know what that is. Um, I guess they will now, <laughs> but <laughs> they'll learn. This is their first time. <laughs> anyway, I feel some guilt about, like leaving to, to go to TwitchCon, but oh my god, it's gonna be okay. They're gonna be okay. Um. <laughs> oh, what did I just do? Oh, I sorted it. Oops. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna be away until Monday, unfortunately, Rebecca, because I'm going to TwitchCon all weekend, so. Um, okay, anyway. Rainbows, Quimbaka, and McQueen, Sappy, and Fruit Boy, and Zoe, and Michelle, and Paige, and CD, and, and Faith, and Definitive. Thank you all for the subs, everybody. Um, okay, 
Okay, let's game, shall we? It's the 19th. I haven't played Stardew Valley in a couple weeks. No, it's not even dawn. The sun's still not up yet. <laughs> it's, it's The sun is coming up slowly, sort of. There's a glow in the sky. How long is the travel? Oh my god, my flight today is five hours. I This is one of those times where I think, because uh, I was talking to some of my friends about this who are coming from Europe, and there's always a, like, um, a... a shock at the size of America when I tell people stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, my flight to Vegas today is five hours long. So, lovely stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Big fun. Really exciting, fun, looking forward to that, right? <laughs> I actually am going to read the whole time, so I am looking forward to it. Got my Kindle all ready to go. USA is so big for no reason. Yeah, yeah. Vegas, I mean, it's the other side of the country, isn't it? So, five hours to Vegas. Yeah, I thought it would be more like four. Sometimes they overestimate the length of these flights and stuff, but um, yeah, five hours. A little bit over five hours um, is the flight time they have listed. So, on your way to work. Hi, Tori, how are you? Good morning. Hope you are doing well. It's gonna be like 90 degrees today in Vegas. Yeah, I know. It's actually nice in Florida right now. This is like the most offensive part of this, right? Like, right now, where I am, the weather, lovely. 54 degrees outside. Absolutely delicious, lovely weather. I'm gonna go to Vegas, where um, currently at 4 a.m. it is 65 degrees, and the high today is 92, which is not something I'm unused to. Welcome, I'm from Florida. Like, <laughs> it's fine. Um, in, in Celsius, that's 33.3 .3 degrees. Um, but I, uh, yeah, it's actually nice for once in Florida today. Um, it's gonna go back to being hot in a couple days, but <laughs> it's actually nice today in Florida, and then I'm leaving. Sad. Very, very, very sad, but it's okay. I'll get over it. How's that even possible in October? I mean, the weather is usually like that in October here. We just got, we're having a lucky few days where it's not so bad. Um, which is kind of a miracle, so. <laughs> Did you, Michelle? Yeah, I, um, I kind of, I shouldn't, I should never have admitted that I started reading Akatar because, oh, my PC almost just lags. Because, um, now people are, like, asking me about it all the time, and the truth of the matter is, I read, like, nine chapters of the first book, and then I said, you know what, I don't want to do this right now, because I was a little bit scarred by the wolf skinning in the first chapter, and maybe that's excessive of me, but it, it just, I needed a second to accept my fate, um, and maybe I'll pick it back up again soon, but <laughs> I started reading some other things, um, instead, so... Okay, I'm gonna sell probably a lot of this stuff. Yeah, so the book is about like fairies and stuff and the beginning is like basically Hunger Games too. Like the beginning is like, I live in this town, small town and things aren't so good and my family is not doing so well and so I have to hunt to save us like money and make sure we can eat and and I sometimes sell what I hunt like like Katniss Everdeen and then it's like oh but the woods are so dangerous like in the Hunger Games <laughs> but the difference this time is that there's fairies and the fairies are so dangerous um and then she skins a wolf and that's the first chapter no spoilers <laughs> but that's what happens in the beginning <laughs> Second book is much better. I don't think it's a bad book. I just, uh, I couldn't really get into it too much. So then I read, um, other things instead. I, most recently, I just finished a couple days ago, The Unmaking of June Farrow, which I read because I subscribed to the Book of the Month Club recently. Um, and I read The Unmaking of June Farrow this week. Well, it took me a couple days, but I really liked it. I thought it was really interesting. Um, I think the Book of the Month Club had a pre-release copy, too. I think it might have come out yesterday or today. I forget. Or next week. I don't remember. Maybe today. Hold on. If you want to read it. October 17th. Yesterday. Okay. Um, I am also going to try and make myself some cheese today. Get that all sorted. Hi, Steph. See you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so 
excited. This is gonna be so fun. Um, all right, I'll grab all of these too. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Mm you wish me all the best at the airport in Vegas? Oh God, should I be worried? <laughs> <laughs> Should I be worried? Hmm. Yeah, I've really been enjoying it, Ice Queen. This is only my second month um, that I since I subscribed to the book of the month, but I've really, really, really liked it. I've thought it has, it has been so fun. Um, I have really enjoyed it. So, okay, I'm going to honestly sell like all of these things that are not such good quality just to get rid of them so I don't have to keep holding on to it. The airport is not bad. Everybody thinks that their home airport is like the worst airport on the planet. And, and to a certain extent, I think that like airports are just bad. It's not like your airport is the worst airport. Busy airports are just stressful. <laughs> like you go to a, people are like, oh my God, the Atlanta airport is the worst thing in the entire world. It's just a busy airport. All the busy airports suck. They're just big and busy and therefore stressful. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody always thinks theirs is the worst one though. Um, actually, sorry, the Orlando airport is one of the worst I've been to. The Orlando airport is bad for a different reason though. Like people talk about like airports being horrible. They're talking about like, oh my God, they're so busy and the lines are so long and it's horrible. In Orlando, it is busy and the lines are long, but also it's just really like really stupidly laid out. We basically have like three separate airports in the Orlando airport. It's really weird and not good. Not in the city, like the terminals aren't like easily like connectable. Like it's just not like the Orlando airport is really weird. And and like all the shops and food is outside of the terminals and then inside the terminals, sometimes they have some things, but it's like one Burger King and like a, one of those newsstands where you can buy like snacks. <laughs> it's not that good. You've cried many times in the Orlando airport. <laughs> really? Oh my. I'm sorry. I've cried a lot in uh, London Gatwick, but not from like stress, more from like, I hate being in a long distance relationship and I'm being so dramatic right now. So. Why is Orlando carpeted with a fountain? It's like having carpet in a bathroom. Yeah, and what about it? So, <laughs> I like my home airport. She might be silly and make no sense, but I, you know, it's home. <laughs> I've cried a lot in so many places that isn't a good metric for me to use. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You're flying to Gatwick on Monday? Oh, really nice. I like Gatwick. I prefer Gatwick over Heathrow. That's my opinion. Um, okay. You're booking your graduation room, Struble. Oh, that's really exciting. I'm happy for you. Um, okay. How long am I gonna stream for? Um, <laughs> like an hour probably. <laughs> really short stream. Just to check it in, you know, before I have to go. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing with the Stardew Valley Expanded mod in this save. Um, so everything looks a little bit different because they've made it a little bigger. Um, I know I haven't seen the Eros Tour movie yet. I, uh, couple reasons. Number one, super busy the past weekend pre-recording for TwitchCon. Um, number two, I was anxious about trying to go see a film opening weekend because of the crowds. I've got, you know, so I can't. <laughs> I'm too scared. I'll probably, I'd like to go see it maybe um, once I'm back from TwitchCon though. Let things calm down a bit. Um, okay. Let me come check down here too. Are you M's? Oh, I'm excited for you. I am doing two, I'm doing, sorry, I'm doing one panel this convention and I have uh, a meet and greet also. The panel I'm doing 
is, um, you may not be surprised by this, about charity streaming. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's it's sort of like because at TwitchCon they have a lot of like community focused content, but also a lot of creator focused content. Um, and some of my Sims friends and I are doing a panel about charity streaming. Um, so I will be doing that at TwitchCon, um, which will be fun. And then I've got a meet and greet the same day also. Um, yeah, I know with who I will tell you. Um, so at the meet and greet or at the panel, I don't know what I'm saying. Clearly, it's early. Um, at the panel, it's being moderated by a person called Trash. I'm not calling them Trash. Their name is just, like, Trash on the internet. <laughs> um, so you might know them. Also, Claire Witchbaby and Zephyrin. Uh, also, Momo and Steven. Am I missing anybody? I'm trying to think. Let me check really fast. There's, like, six of us. I don't think I missed anybody, but let me just triple check so I don't feel like I'm leaving anybody out. I got the slides. Steven, Simsy, Momo, Zeph, Claire, Trash. Okay, I got it. <laughs> yeah, um, some of the Among Us folks, yeah, which will be which will be really nice. Um, so many friends. Um, I'm looking forward to it though. Why does TwitchCon have to be so far away? I know, I know, I know, I know. TwitchCon is like, I I think the same thing, <laughs> and um, I'm I'm you know. I have a little bit more reason to go, but yeah, it's far away from me too. Um, you're meeting Claire? Yeah, Steph, loads of people are, are, loads of like the Sims folks are gonna be at TwitchCon this year, which will be fun. Um, okay. I guess Vegas is maybe a little bit closer than San Diego is, but when you're going across the country, it doesn't make that big of a difference. <laughs> uh, how long would the drive be? Oh my god, from here? Oh, I don't even want to think about that. I'll find out. Hold on. If I were to try and drive to Las Vegas, anybody have any guesses? I'd love, I'd love for people that are not in America to try and guess, too. Um, okay, if I wanted to drive to Las Vegas from Orlando, my Google Maps is loading. I'll tell you. And this is like, this is like if you drive straight, okay? So it doesn't count like stopping, which you would have to do for like gas and, you know, overnight because it's so long. The drive from Orlando to Las Vegas is 34 hours, 2,306 miles. So it'd take you like three days. Because <laughs> you have to, you have to, maybe longer because you got to split that up over, over a few days because it's a long drive. Um, so anyway, I will be driving to Vegas. <laughs> it's just a bit of a drive. And that's 34 hours direct, no stops. You have, obviously you have to stop for like basic human needs, like food and, you know, going to the bathroom <laughs> and gas and stuff. Um, and sleeping because it's so long. So it would take you a long time. That would be, uh, yeah, quite the drive. <laughs> a lot of people don't, um, they, a lot of people underestimate the size of the country, don't they? Okay, you live in Vegas and it takes you an hour to get on the strip. Yeah, I get that. I live in Orlando. It takes sometimes like 50 minutes to get um, to Disney, which granted they're on the other side. So it's their fault. But with, with traffic, like take you an hour sometimes driving down I-4. Um, truck drivers take five days to drive that. Oh my God, <laughs> that's so long. That is wild. Um, okay. I'm going to mine a little bit. I was thinking about trying to get a little bit of iron while I'm down here. Um, and then, and on here? Okay. Okay. Disney's not even in Orlando. They're in Kissimmee. Thank you very much. So it's their fault. <laughs> okay. Um, also, Katie and Shannon and Minnie and Peach and Messi and Kiwi and Samantha and Saran and, and Skelton, you're for the subs. It'd take 42 hours to drive across Australia. Oh my God. If you wanted to go from like southernmost point to like the other side of the country, like say you wanted to drive from like, for example, Miami to Seattle. I wonder how long that would take. Let's find out. I'm looking it up. Cause that's like corner to corner. 48 hours. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, maybe don't do that. 
<laughs> maybe maybe don't <laughs> do that. But pronouncing Kissimmee wrong your whole life. Yeah, a lot of people do. Um, that's a long time. That is a long, long, long time. How long does it drive to Vancouver? I don't know. Let me find out. I'll just change it really quick. Probably like 50-ish, right? More than, because it would take you a long time. Why is Google Maps taking so long? The answer is they don't want to tell you. <laughs> it said, sorry, we could not calculate. <laughs> okay, well, too long apparently. Um, you and your mom want to do a trip from Portland, Oregon to Portland, Maine? Oh my God, that would be kind of fun. Well, it would be long, but it might be kind of fun. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? It, when you say 48 hours, it's not just 48 hours. It's like 48 hours straight. So you have to take into account like any stops that you want to take. It's going to take you many, many, many days for a trip like that. Perth to Adelaide takes like 33 hours nonstop. Ooh, I don't want to do this level. I don't need to kill any slimes. I got a slime ring. I got a slime ring. I don't need that. Yeah, that would be a nightmarish drive. The most we ever did was like the 20-ish hours to from Orlando to Chicago, which is a lot. <laughs> but we used to do that every year. The thought of like trying to double the length of that road trip is a little bit horrifying to me. <laughs> the thought of trying to do that again is really not good. Um, yeah, it is bad to sit for that long too. My That's part of why we had to stop doing the road trip is because my dad got cancer and now he's um, more prone to getting blood clots. Um, so <laughs> that's part of why we had to stop doing the road trip is because Someone had to go and get cancer. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, so now we don't really do the drive, which is good. I probably wouldn't do it anymore anyway. Um, but. Okay. I want to go down here too. I mean, that's true. We're older now, so everyone can take a turn driving, but I have no desire to do that. <laughs> when my, my mom and my brother and my sister uh, did that drive last year, um, because they went to my grandma's house to like pick up some things that she wanted us to have. My grandma, this is a little bit um, morbid, but she's like trying to give us things that, you know, have value to her. She's like, oh, this is like a dish that my grandmother bought for me. And she's trying to like give it to us now so that we know what it is and we have memory of it and stuff um, instead of like leaving us to deal with it, I guess. Again, kind of morbid. But anyway, she wanted to give us um, like her wedding china and stuff. Um, so my mom and siblings drove up there to pick it up and bring it back down. So um, they were like bringing a car load full of stuff. So you can't really fly with that, you know? Um, no, not in a fancy RV, just in our regular car. <laughs> Maria, thanks for the 46 months. I certainly, I would never drive an RV. I would never do that. Absolutely not. That's, you think I want to drive a large thing like that? No way. <laughs> Sinister. Maria, thank you for the subs too. Okay. No, it's not morbid. It's, um, it's nice. Like she's trying to give us like some heirloom things. It's, it's beautiful, but. Okay. What's my dream car? Honestly, I don't have one. <laughs> I don't care about cars enough. I don't care about cars enough. Um, okay. Um, drove one of the biggest U-Hauls once, never again. Oh my god, I don't- I, I just can't. I was literally talking to Dan about this yesterday, because we went on a walk yesterday morning, um, and this giant, giant truck drove past us and we were talking, we were like joking about how like far out the mirrors were. It was just like a pickup truck, but it was a big one. Um, and then, I mean, we were like, oh yeah, I guess it's so it can pull things. And then Dan was like, any car can pull things if you want it to, which A, is only kind of true. And B, I was like, yeah, but as if I'm ever gonna be in that situation. I was like, you really think that I'm gonna be like pulling things in my car? Are you kidding me? Me? No. <laughs> so that's no. That's never a thing I'm gonna have to worry about. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Oh, really? Try hard. That's that's amazing. My um my grandma has some the some of these really beautiful little Christmas ornaments, and they're like angels that are beaded. I wonder if I could find a picture of something similar, um, so that I can show you guys. Um, because I'm sure that like other people made them too. Um, but she has some of these that my like great great grandmother had made. Um, and I've always thought that they were so special and so pretty. I don't know if I, obviously I don't have a picture of the exact thing, but, um, it's kind of like a combination of like this and this, but they're all white. Um, and she made them like out of beads herself, my great grandmother. And I always thought they were so pretty and so special. Um, and I think that's beautiful to have things like that, like special handmade things. Um. Here's like wooden angels you can stand up. Oh, that's cool. Hello as I sit with my very, very angry cat. Oh god, hope. What time what time do you have to leave? And also, uh, important questions, how long will it take you to get there? Hope's uh grumpy cat friend has to go to the vet today. Um 9.15 and five minutes. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. You can do it. Everything's gonna be so fine and easy. And she's gonna do a great job. She won't be spicy at all. <laughs> Bye, Shella, I'll see you later. Oh my God. That's so funny. Yesterday I raided Shella after I got off stream and she goes, see you in an hour. <laughs> she meant see you in tomorrow. But she said, see you in an hour last night. And I was like, why are you outside of my house right now? What are you talking about? You might know. She meant see you tomorrow. Oh, it's the other cat being angry because she isn't allowed to eat her sister's food because it's got medicine in it. Oh no. Oh no. Listen, if she knew any better, she'd be thankful. Um, okay, let's go down. I won't see you in an hour either, Shella, but... You know, I'll see you today at least. We're here early because it's, um, I'm going to TwitchCon today. So I'm live like really early in the morning compared to normal. Because I wanted to pop in for a little bit short stream before I go to TwitchCon. Um, that is what I am up to right now. Your friend's cast about with the vet. She has to be sedated every time. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's so stressful. I just, it makes you feel bad for, for everyone involved, right? Um, I'm very lucky that my cats have been okay with the vet and like honestly okay with the car also. Um, my my parents' cats, they're not bad with the vet, but they're they're really bad with the car. It's sort of um, horrifying. So okay, bye for real, Shella. See you later. <laughs> Fake art and emeralds and everybody that you were the subs to. Okay, I'm going to bed. Let me in, cat. Oh my god. Um, oh my god. Thought you were going on Friday? No, can't go on Friday. I'd be there too late. Stuff starts on Thursday, so I have to get there tonight. Um, Thursday is tomorrow, so... Um, do you want to play Stardew or Fae Farm right now? Ooh, good question. I don't know, Fae Farm is new, so it's kind of exciting. Um, so that might be an idea. Stanley is sleeping. Okay, I think I might go to the island today and start working on some things over there because stuff seems to be all right down here at my farm. Let me just triple check if I've got anything I needed to bring with me to the island. I don't think I wanted to bring any of these things. Oh, you know what I will do is check my greenhouses though. Am I looking forward to the 1.6 update? Yes. I'm so excited. Um. <laughs> yeah, I know Steph, right? When I should maybe I shouldn't ask when you're leaving because maybe that you keep that quiet. But <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'm excited about it. Um, how long is the flight for you, Steph? Oh, you have a connecting flight too. You you probably say when you're leaving, then it would be fine. Look at this out! How, how much of a mess this is. I'm trying to replace it all with ancient fruit. Obviously, and it's not- my ancient fruit's not all grown yet, so... 
I did pre-record YouTube videos. Yeah, 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 I did. So we've got videos going up while I'm gone. Update for starting. There's not news for it yet. Well, there, well, there is. He's been talking about what's going to come in it, but, but he hasn't said what or when it will be just yet. Um, so there's not really that much news about the Stardew update too, too close to now just yet. Um, we also don't know when the next Sims update is going to be. <laughs> but we really don't know about that one. We don't even know what's going to come into it, so. Um, wishing you luck driving to MCO. Thankfully, my dad is driving me to the airport, so that will make things a little bit easier. Um, so expensive to park at the airport for that long. So thankfully my family is in town and they can help um, drive me to the airport. Um, okay. I'll be back on Monday, Cameron. All right, that stuff should be okay too. I'm gonna go to the island now then. That is the next plan. I do have some sorting mods to you. I'm playing with the expanded mod in this save. Um, you took the Bright Line train to Miami. Oh, that's cool. Oh, hi, Sandy. I am, I am surprised to see you in Stardew Valley today. <laughs> I'll give you a gift. Um, are you going with Dan to the airport? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna like ride separately from him. We are going together because we are going to be on the same flight. <laughs> um, okay. I will get, which flower should I give her? Maybe I'll give her, eh, just a daffodil will do. He's gonna take a lift and I'll, I'll uh, da my dad will drive me, but Dan has to take a lift. No, <laughs> no, no, don't worry. Um, anyway, they just opened, uh, uh, they just opened a train from Orlando to Miami and I am very excited about it. There's a new Brightline train that just, like, just opened like last month, um, which is kind of cool. The next time I have to go to Miami, which, I mean, who knows when that'll be. <laughs> um, I'll probably take the train, which is gonna be kind of fun. Um, no, don't worry, Cameron. It's kind of silly, don't worry. Um, maybe, maybe, just maybe, I'll manage to get Taylor Swift tickets in Miami and I'll take the train down. That'll be cool. It's like, I think it's like three hours, the train to Miami from here. Um, so, it's not too bad. Okay. All right, welcome to the to the island. I'll probably go to the mines today. No, it's not too bad. Um, better than driving to Miami. <laughs> so, about three and a half. Okay, so it's like three and a half hours then. Um, that makes sense. I will bring some of these things. Do you wanna just go, let's just go into the mines. Let's just go into the mines. America has trains. Yeah, a lot of places in America have train stuff. It's, um, we even have some like local trains in Orlando, but they're, they don't, um, they like only run during business hours. And so they're not that practical for most folks. And like even most commuters don't really need them, but we do have some like local trains in Orlando called the Sunrail. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's some big trains in Florida, like, like I said, they just built the new one from the Orlando airport to Miami. Um, but there's also like a lot of, uh, like the Northeast, like up in like the New York era area. Um, there's a lot more trains in that area. Um, even like more feasible local trains kind of depends where you are, but, um, there's decent trains in a lot of parts of the country, just not everywhere. Um, and obviously most people in the country don't live there. So, um, yeah, like more like Northeast coast is very trainy, like all from like that whole area, Boston, DC sort of metro area. Um, yeah, we have a train from Orlando to Palm Beach too. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a handful of trains down here. Um, they're just not that uh, widespread or like in the same vein useful. <laughs> <laughs> for a lot of people and a lot of states don't really have much access to them um, Does Vegas have trains they have in Vegas like a it's like a tram like thing, right? Um, 
that goes between the it's a monorail yeah they have like a las vegas monorail that goes between some of the hotels i don't know where you're staying stuff but you told me what i forgot um but they do have a monorail in vegas that goes between the hotels and to the convention center and stuff um so this will hopefully be helpful to you <laughs> Um, there's a monorail and a tram. Ooh. Anyway, yes, our trains could be improved here, but there are trains in America. The monorail is, correct me if I'm wrong, it's like raised, isn't it? Yeah. Boston trains are terrible, though. Maybe. I don't have a lot of personal familiarity with that. Um, to be honest. However, it's better than no trains. But I agree. I think our Orlando trains are pretty bad too. Like the Sunrail trains are not very good. We have like, it's like a one carriage little tiny commuter train that doesn't operate on the weekends and stuff. So it's hard if you wanted to like get the train into downtown to go to a concert. They don't like don't operate late at night. So you can't really do that. And then they're like, nobody takes the train, so why are we gonna fund it? But like, no one takes the train because it's not useful. <laughs> so um, it's kind of like a never ending cycle of bad. Um, where like, yeah, you're not, no one uses it, but like there's nothing for it to be used for really. Like even a lot of folks that work downtown don't take the train, so. Um, anyway, it'd be nice if they could expand it out. Um, What do I think of the new Twitch stories? I'm really intrigued by that. It's kind of funny how like everything has stories now. Um, Twitch does have a new stories feature. They just added it like a couple days ago. I, I got access to it. Um, I posted one. I think they last like 48 hours on Twitch. Um, I don't know how people are gonna use them yet. It'll be interesting to see like, um, what is most useful about them and stuff like that. Um, and if they're, cause I don't know, I feel like I can see myself mostly using Twitch stories for like, maybe like announcements for, for like, oh, I'm doing a charity stream. Like just as like uh, additional eyes on it. Cause you can't really address your Twitch audience that easily. Otherwise they actually used to have like a, almost like a YouTube community tab, but on Twitch um, and they got rid of it many years ago, like back when I first started streaming in like 2017, 2018, they had that and then no one used it and people didn't really read it. So they got rid of it and now they're adding stories. Um, so I'll be curious to see like how useful they are to people. Um, I never use YouTube stories though for like anything. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. Um, golden walnut, that's what I wanted. Um, do you recommend you do a cat update on Twitch stories? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, that's, there's that too. Um, but I'll be curious to see like how often it actually gets used by most people in practice. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's bad, but. Okay. Yeah, RJ, I am very lucky in that um, I am a full-time YouTuber and Twitch streamer. I sort of think of to be honest, I sort of think of myself as like a YouTuber. Like I would say like my full-time job is that I make YouTube videos, but I also stream. Even though I stream a lot and a lot of people see me as a streamer, I still am a streamer, but like I think of myself more as a YouTuber than a Twitch streamer. Um, not that you care, I don't know. Like I'm not, I didn't wake up this morning thinking, oh, I gotta go to work because <laughs> I'm gonna play Stardew Valley before I fly to TwitchCon. Like, <laughs> um, I just was like, I wanna play Stardew Valley before I go to TwitchCon, <laughs> so. Anyway, um, I mean, I do them both every day. Yeah, that's true. But <laughs> anyway, um, I guess it's partially because my YouTube channel is bigger, right? Like people sort of associate you more as a YouTuber because <laughs> more people follow my YouTube channel in general. So more people know me as that. Um, okay. Um, come on. Uh oh. Eat some cranberries. Lauren, Nadine, Britt, thank you for the sub, sorry, buddy. Okay. Um, was it super hard to get the audience when I started out? Um, yeah, I guess also something to consider is that I didn't start out really like, I don't know. I don't think I really thought I was going to get an audience or like cared that much when I started out. 
I started making Sims videos because I watched other people's Sims videos and I was like, this is so fun, I could make Sims videos. And I kind of just like, it was more like a creative outlet of like, a, I want to do that. I want to make Sims videos. I like to do builds. Um, I don't know if I really ever thought that anyone was going to watch <laughs> or care. Obviously it was exciting when people started to, but it takes a long time to build a channel and um, I don't know. It was more like a hobby creative outlet more than anything. Um, I think it's really hard to start a channel with the intention of like it becoming a, a thing that you can make money off of and, and like build because it's, it's like so rare that that happens to people, you know? Um, which is a shame. There's a lot of like almost luck involved, I think, in it. Um, which sucks, but is unfortunately a fact. And I also think that it's easier to get burnt out when you're like doing it because you want to make money off of it because you do not make money off of it for so long. The, for like, so usually, um, on, on like these platforms, there'll be like a payout threshold where they won't pay you until you earn like $100 or $50 or depending on where you are. Um, there's like a minimum payout threshold. And so I was making like $5 a month <laughs> for so long <laughs> until like you finally get your first payout and it's like, um, you finally get um, just your first one and it's $50 and it's like not really, uh, you know, not the kind of thing that you could live on or really focus or rely on, I guess, because you can't control what you're going to get paid. Anyway, once you get bigger, you get more regular payouts, but at first it's not. Um, it was much quicker for you. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that it was quicker for you. That's good. Um, okay. Yeah, it's nice to see the pale when you would've been playing anyway. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I guess there's a level of like, when you're doing all the extras, like the editing and stuff. Um, also, when you know you've earned money and you don't get a payout, because you have to wait till you hit the threshold, that's kind of annoying. It's like, you know you have like $30 you're owed, except you can't get any of it until you hit the like 50 or $100 threshold. Um, that's kind of, that part kind of sucks a little bit too. <laughs> it's like, but I won it. <laughs> you owe me $34. Um, I don't edit my own videos anymore. No, Dan edits my videos now. Um, it's kind of a team effort. You have $30 in Twitch and you have for four years. Nice ho. <laughs> Exciting stuff. They owe you money. You have 900 followers and never streamed. <laughs> yeah, um, a lot of people follow the mods and stuff and we say like, oh, go check out Little Dika CC and then they follow him on Twitch. Um, yeah. Really, Mango? That's pretty cool. That's a, that's a good amount of money to be making every month, to be honest, as like a, from like a side hobby. Um, yeah, Dan edits my videos full time. It's, it worked out really nicely actually, cause um, when he graduated college, I was, um, I was like, uh, going into my senior year. Sorry, I distracted myself with that. I was going into my senior year of college, um, and I really needed help, <laughs> like trying to do the, like the editing and, and recording and everything and streaming full time on top of my, my school work was really a lot. And then I was taking extra classes cause I was trying to graduate early. So basically I just really needed help. And then Dan graduated with a film degree. Um, that year and so he started editing for me because he needed some money um, Obviously and I needed some help and then he just never stopped and then we got married So we were dating at the time um, He wasn't just like some guy <laughs> but um, It worked out really nicely so Okay The end yeah, yeah, I studied history derp. I have a history degree Really putting that to use, um, you know, playing The Sims 4. <laughs> but yeah, I went and got a history degree. Um, okay, cool. It's nice having Dan to edit my videos too, because I, 
it's I think uh, can be hard to unless it's hard to find an editor to work with that you um, like trust as much. Um, I mean, you definitely can get to that point, but it just I think it uh, there's like a learning curve with like working with a new person. I've never hired an editor aside from Dan, um, but it's nice because Dan knows me really well, knows my content really well, and also I trust him enough to just give him access to my channel so he can upload straight to my YouTube channel instead of me having to like have him send me the video and me upload it and stuff like sometimes you might do with a person that you don't know as well. So it makes it easier for everyone. And then you can get your uh, friend to do your closed captions and then you trust her and then give her access to your YouTube channel too. Hope, Hope could delete every single one of my YouTube videos if she wanted to. So, anyway. <laughs> she probably won't, but she could. Cause she also has access to my YouTube channel. <laughs> It's a good reason to not cross her. That's true. I I would not hurt Hope. <laughs> I um I need her to not hurt my YouTube channel. I joke. She would never do that. Karen, Mazor, Lauren B. Thank you for the subs. Um. Okay, I've gotten two walnuts today. That's good. I guess. I don't know. Oh my god. I would like to think you wouldn't hurt me because I'm your friend. No, no, the reason I wouldn't hurt you is because you have access to my YouTube channel, that's it. That's all. No other reason. Um, no, I met Hope through Twitch. Um, I met all of my Twitch mods through Twitch. I even met Dan through Twitch. <laughs> Different way though, I met Dan because he used to be friends with someone else I knew, another streamer. But um, yeah, I've met all these people through Twitch. Isn't that weird? Okay, my whole life revolves around Twitch. <laughs> oh, hurry up so you can get in there. Oh my god. That's why things like TwitchCon are quite fun, because a lot of like the streamers that I know and, and like longtime friends that you don't really see that often are going to be there. It's kind of like a cool little reunion. Protection ring, okay. Well, now you're going to pass out, so just wait. Imagine having your whole friend group thanks to Twitch. Haha, <laughs> can't relate, haha. <laughs> Yeah, me neither, haha. -ha. <laughs> um, me and Dan's first interaction was kind of on Twitch. I guess I used to like see him around um, in my like old friend's Twitch chat. And then um, we started talking on Discord, like in that person's server. Um, and then started talking in DMs and then we got married. So we met in person because we were like, there's like a group thing. We all went to see the Book of Mormon. Steph was there. I don't know if Steph's still here, but Steph was there. <laughs> we met in person for the first time. We went to go see Book of Mormon in London because um, I was visiting my friend Steph. Um, we were staying in a hotel in London and, and then Dan came to see us and then we all went to see Book of Mormon with some of our other friends and then it was, you know, anyway. Yeah, big leap from DMs to marriage, huh? Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> that is what happened though. Okay. You met your besties in a, a Minecraft server when you were 12. Isn't that so funny how that happens? That is so wild. Um, also, Amanda, so thank you for the subs. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Okay. The Book of Mormon honestly is a good musical. I really enjoy it. I've seen it a couple times. Um, it's pretty fun. I think the fact that you grew up Mormon and weren't allowed to ever see it means you would probably really like it. <laughs> um, I think that I think that you are probably the target audience, to be honest. Um, but it's pretty good, so. Really, Moonlight? That's so fun. It's, it's so cool how you can find little pockets on the internet um, like that. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, I mean, I met Steph through The Sims when we were like 16 years old. Um, just because we both liked The Sims, you know? Isn't that so wild? Um, and now she's flying all the way to Vegas to go to TwitchCon and we're gonna see each other again. <laughs> um, I just think that's so cool. I've met so many of my friends through The Sims specifically. Um, you don't like eels there too long. Yeah, fair enough. I get that. Met your friends through a Twilight Forum and fun fact, today's her birthday! That's so cool! 
That is so cool. Um, okay. Is it true that it's never too late to stream or make YouTube videos? Do you think that it's true that it's worth the investment? I mean, it depends what you're trying to get out of it. Like, if you have a desire to do it because you think it would be fun, by all means, I, it's never too late, go for it. I think that like going into it with the intention of trying to make money is maybe not the best idea, just because it's really hard to turn it into something that is like even remotely profitable, let alone, you know, like f financially sustainable. Like it takes so long and is so much luck involved in, in trying to turn it into something that you can use for like an income. Um, but if you just want to do it because you think that you would like it and it would be like a cool outlet for you and a cool hobby for you, um, I think is totally worth doing. Especially because you don't necessarily have to spend a ton of money on, like you don't need to buy like the best camera and stuff when you first start out. Like thing, if you wanted to make gaming content specifically, like the, the recording and streaming software I use is free. To this day, OBS is a free software. Everybody uses it to stream. Um, webcams and, and like decent quality, but like affordable microphones are pretty easily accessible, especially cause so many folks have them now because of like their work from home jobs and stuff. Um, so it's not, it's not impossible to get your hands on these things, um, and to, to get started, which is cool. Okay. Uh, and if you just want to, I mean, by all means, I think you would like it. So you just got to start. The biggest hurdle is just deciding and starting. I don't use Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs OBS basically is like a, a copy of OBS. <laughs> <laughs> with like some Streamlabs stuff. Streamlabs is like a, a website that you can use for your alerts. So you could track like who's resubbing and put like the, you know, the thing that pops up on the screen and says like, thanks so-and-so for subbing. Um, they're there for that. Um, the Streamlabs OBS is OBS with extra Streamlabs stuff added into it because OBS is like open source. So people, can, they just like, s you know, snatched it and then added to it. Um, it does have some like, easy access stuff, but I think for the most part, most folks that I know don't use Streamlabs OBS um, because A, we've been using a regular OBS longer and B, uh, Streamlabs OBS is like super laggy sometimes on your computer. It's more intensive on your PC. The regular OBS works just fine. Um, works just, just fine. You have an internet friend through a Tumblr friend that you wish a happy new year from the future even though you don't chat for the rest of the year. So you only ever speak, you just say happy new year to each other. I love that though. I love that you have like a person that you, you talk to them every year on New Year's Eve. Every year, <laughs> I've gotta message that person from Tumblr, but you never speak again after that. <laughs> and that's been since 2014. Wow, that's so cool. I think that's so cute. Also, yes, try hard. They were the ones with the drama a couple of years ago, but I don't remember what the drama was, to be honest. I just know that they were, they were, they were in something. So many of these um, internet companies have been involved in various degrees of not so good drama. Um, maybe I could put, let's do some yams. Okay. Uh, 23. Okay. You wish your Tumblr friend a happy new year and birthday, but we talk more often than just that. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. Yeah, it's a shame because sometimes you do kind of um, grow apart a little bit from some internet friends. There's a lot of friends that I have when I was like a teenager who we still like, you know, exchange happy birthdays and we'll chat from time to time, um, but don't talk as often as we used to. Um, which is kind of weird, but I guess especially with people on the internet, like it's so easy to A, either stay super in touch and stay close forever, but also once you get into different phases in your life and like get busy with um, like work and college and everything, it gets a little bit harder to keep up. Um, and then there's some that you talk to every day, <laughs> forever. It's cool how they're always there to reconnect though. Um, Okay, I have seeds in this little chest, yes? I do, okay, good. I should have left that dragon tooth at the, at the beach, I didn't mean to. I have a protection ring, okay. Okay. Can 
really keep up with yourself with college and your job. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. It just, it gets hard to stay in touch with everybody, especially when you've got so much going on in your own life and they've got stuff going on and it's just, you know, I think that's okay though. You met one of your best friends in a horse art role play group. That is amazing. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. And no, the new expansion pack hasn't been revealed yet. Um, I'm really, 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 really hoping and cross my fingers it's not gonna be revealed this week, but I don't think that it will be. Um, I think I would be very surprised. What am I doing? I think I would be very surprised if it was. Um, half just because they already dropped an expansion pack when I went to a convention last time. So if they did it again, the chances of that are so unlikely. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't, I feel like we'll probably find out today if they will drop it this, or drop the trailer this week because they usually will tease the trailer, huh? Um, oh, the neighbors are now mowing their lawn. That's exciting. Good morning. Good morning. I just realized I'm gonna have to get off stream soon. <laughs> I was planning on being live for like an hour. <laughs> I didn't realize, and it's so weird streaming for a short amount of time. Um, I'm not cut out for this. <laughs> it's really bizarre only being live for a little bit. Okay. It would be funny if they did that. Yeah, I mean, it would be a little bit funny if they did that. You gotta admit, it's, it would be a little bit funny if they dropped it, but I really would be very displeased with them. And I don't think they will. I don't think they will. Um, get rid of that. You know what day of the week it is by which neighbor is mowing? Yeah, annoyingly Wednesday morning, always, always next door every Wednesday morning. And I stream on Wednesday mornings. So <laughs> I used to joke like at my old house, I'd be like, oh, you know, of course I stream in the morning on Wednesdays and they mow on Wednesdays. And then I move here and I'm thinking, oh, it's gonna be better because I moved. And in fact, actually what happened is um, it's the same. <laughs> you can't hear it though. Oh, that's good. That's fine then. No worries. Okay, is today someone's birthday? It's Robin's birthday. Okay, I bring her a gift then. Robin, my friend, maybe I'll bring you a peach. What's with Wednesdays? Does your complex mow on Wednesdays too? That's so funny. That is so funny. Yeah, my old house, I lived in a townhouse before and they used to like do all of the grass um, around the lake on Wednesday mornings. And so it was kind of an ordeal because they like would be trying to do the whole like complex of townhouses all at once. People had like little strips of grass in there by their driveway and like the grass around the pond in the back and they would do all of it on Wednesday mornings. <laughs> so it would take ages. But at least this person is just the one neighbor so it doesn't take that long. Okay. Ooh, we have strawberries. That is exciting. Very, very exciting. All right, and I will get the peach also. Um, come here. I will get this one peach so I can give it to Robin. <laughs> Your neighbors are mowing right now too? I get that. It's nice out right now. What's my favorite game other than Sims? Ooh, I don't know. I would argue that like, one of my longest standing favorite games is this one. Um, it It's not as like, it's a different vibe, obviously. It's a different sort of game, but this is up there. I have, I mean, Sims is like, you know, and then we've got all the other things um, and those other things are kind of tied or like I go through phases. Um, oh, I gotta get these. Um, but things like Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, um, Minecraft, those are games that are some of my favorites of all time up there. Recently, I've been playing, a, well, like the past year or so, I've been playing a lot of Disney Dreamlight Valley, but I don't know if I would say that Dreamlight Valley is like a favorite game of all time. It's just a game that I enjoy. So there's levels to it. But yeah, this one and Animal Crossing are probably up there for favorites. It's really try Coral Island. I played a little bit of it in early access. I only streamed it like twice, but I played a little bit uh, off stream. I'm gonna play it again when it comes out because it's coming out officially on like November 12th or 14th or something. I forget what day exactly. Um, 
my lamp just turned on. <laughs> I have the, the lamp in here on a timer. It turns on at 8 because I usually come up in here around 8 a.m. Um, and then it turns off uh, at nighttime when I usually go downstairs because then it's never dark in here. Anyway, it just turned on. I streamed for a whole hour before the lamp came on. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm, I'm planning on playing Coral Island when it comes out. 14th? Okay, I knew it was one of those, 12th or 14th, I couldn't remember, but I think we'll play it when it comes out officially. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and the saves are not transferable, so honestly, it's a good thing that I didn't get super into it in the past couple months, like I thought I might, I might, because then I have to start over. Um, I think it's going to be fun, though. I'm looking forward to playing it. Alright. Again, I've played it before <laughs> and seen people play it, but I'm looking forward to playing it again. Um, okay, good. All well, that's planted. Hey, lady, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. We're doing a little uh, short stream before TwitchCon. I'm, I'm live. It's 8 a.m. where I am. <laughs> I've been live since 7. The sun has risen now, finally. <laughs> uh, and we're, we're playing a little bit of Stardew Valley, so <laughs> welcome in. It's good to see you. Um, okay. Yeah, that's the thing. They're letting you transfer the gold, right? So you can't transfer your save, but you can transfer the money that your character had. So um, if you had a, a large amount of money in your in your save, um, you'll be able to transfer that to the new saves when the when the game comes out. But you won't be able to transfer your save file. <laughs> Thanks, lady. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be it'll be really fun. So, um, okay. I'm gonna go try and give this to Robin. We're talking about a game called Coral Island. It's very similar to Stardew Valley, actually. Oh, Robin's gonna probably be at the bar. It's a Sunday, I don't know. Leaves her shop and heads to the mountain area. It's raining. Maybe she'll go to the kitchen. Let me just check. She is in the kitchen. She's literally right there behind my face cam. So you guys wouldn't have seen her, and I didn't see her up there either. <laughs> Oops. Hi, Robin. A birthday gift. She literally is right behind my face. <laughs> Are we friends yet, Robin? Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, good! Oh my god. Robin has, has taken out Lewis as my best friend. Thank god, because that was really embarrassing. <laughs> That was so embarrassing. <laughs> this is a miracle. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better right now. <laughs> the fact that Lewis was my best friend was like really, uh, what am I doing? That was really embarrassing. It wasn't on purpose. It's just like, he's easy to gift and I, anyway, so I've replaced him now. So that's better. <laughs> that was pretty bad. No, they don't always change clothes for seasons. I have a mod. I have a seasonal outfits mod, and I also have the Stardew Valley Expanded mod. Um, Concerned Ape is adding in the next Stardew Valley update, he's adding winter outfits. Um, that's one of the things that he's he's decided to add, which is going to be kind of fun. Um, okay, we'll save those. Why make it early access if you can't transfer it? I think that um, the transferring is probably more of like a it's probably more of like a limitation than a um a choice with the early access versus full access version um because they like so much would have changed and stuff before the new version comes out um it's probably just a limitation um because the the new version of the game is going to be so different from the build the early access is on that they just probably aren't really able to um make the old saves work on the new version that's kind of, I think, a difficulty with early access. It's a bonus because people can play it for a lot longer, and also, like, um, you can give rewards to people who are, like, helping to fund your game and your projects, um, and, and people, like, as they're playing can give sort of long-term feedback and testing, um, but also then you get sort of stuck with some of the downsides of it, where, like, this is happening and the saves won't transfer, but um, that's kind of the, something that I was expecting from the game, so it's not really a surprise to me. And I would hope that it's not a surprise to everyone else, but it might be. Um, I don't know. It's kind of exciting to get a chance to play the full game from the start again. Maybe. I don't know. I, I think of it sort of like how I play Stardew Valley. Um, 
like I'm gonna it's not the like a full release by any means but when the 1.6 update comes out the new update I'm gonna play Stardew Valley again from from day one um because I'm gonna be kind of excited to get to to play through the start with whatever new things there are and stuff um so I don't know I'm not really mad about it I can see why it would be kind of we're talking about a game called Coral Island Kate right now um, that's weird. Don't put that there. Do I have space for it in one of these chests? Yeah, okay. Is there any duplicates in here? No. So many collectibles. You might still play your mainstay, but also start a new one? That makes sense. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Um, you want to play it? Oh, well, hold off, because it's coming out full release. It's coming out in, um... November, like the 14th that's coming out. So, you've caught it kind of at a good time, to be honest. Alright, I'm just gonna quickly check on any last minute things I have, and then I'll probably get off stream here in a couple minutes. I know I only streamed for an hour, but I have to um, go finish getting ready for my flight, so um, I, I do probably have to run, <laughs> which is so weird. I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Um, it's only an hour, but I, I, the alternative was to not stream at all. But I went live at 7 a.m. and streamed anyway, so there. <laughs> it was worth it, it was worth it, even if it was weird. Um, but it's been fun, so let me just finish up this last couple things. Um, okay. I will sell this to super short stream, yeah. <laughs> super, super short stream. Um. Let me see if I can save any of this extra stuff. Maybe I will, um... Maybe I will keep hold of... Some things. Honestly, get rid of all this milk. You have plenty of milk. We need to... Honestly, also sell like half of these truffles. You don't need to have that many truffles. I don't proce process them fast enough to bother dealing with it. Um, okay. Do you know what I did last night? You know what's so funny? I was joking to my friends about this because yesterday I uh, obviously I had a lot of prep work to finish before I left for TwitchCon. Like I had all this packing to do and like clean. I want to clean the house and finish scheduling all my YouTube videos. So you know what I did? I I took off all the couch cushion covers and I washed them, and then I put them all back on. And it was kind of an ordeal to like put them back. Um, so that was how I spent my la my night last night. <laughs> I also packed and stuff, but it's like, I need to pack for TwitchCon, so what did I do? I washed the couch cushions. <laughs> Classic. I also, um, I also mailed a bunch of Halloween cards to my, like, grandma and my, my family and stuff. <laughs> Like, what do you need to do? All this stuff to prep for TwitchCon, so I'm gonna wash the couch and write some cards and do all these things that I don't actually need to do, but, you know. Ooh, good money. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, next time we play we can spend some money. But now the, the couch is nice and clean, the cards are nice and sent. Halloween cards? Yeah, I got these really cute little Halloween cards. Uh-oh, what's going on? Oh, it's fine. I got these really cute little Halloween cards, um, that say Happy Halloween and they've got a picture of a black cat on them. So I thought it was so cute, because I have black cats now. Um, is my family here right now? Because if they're not, I'll tell you what I did. But if they are, I won't. Oh, they're not. Okay, I'll tell you what I did. So basically, um, I sent my parents, I mailed it to them, even though I could have just given it to them, but I mailed it because it's kind of fun this way. And I um, I mailed it to Frankie and Sam, the, the cats, like the mom cat and the other baby that we found in the sewer. So my kitty's sibling and mom. Um, and then I wrote it from the babies, and I signed it from Sunny and Shrimp, and begrudgingly Snap, because she doesn't like them. So, what are Halloween cards? Well, it's just a card that says Happy Halloween. It's not very common. I don't think most people send Halloween cards, but I found these cute black cat ones, and I have black cats, so I just thought it was fun. <laughs> I just thought it was cute, so. <laughs> I don't really think it's a thing, but I did it, so. I don't think most people do that, but I thought it was cute, so I did. I like to send cards for random holidays to my grandparents, though. Because um, my grandma does that, so I like to do it back. Um, my grandma will send, like, cards for all kinds of holidays. Um, so I, I just think it's cute. <laughs> 
I just think it's cute. It's a silly little thing, but it's, sometimes it's fun to do silly little things. You should send out cards from your black cat. Yeah, see, it would be cute. People would like that. Anyway, I signed like, I wrote little paw prints to sign for them and I made them like, they're like all size order. Like Sunny's is tiny and Trips is middle and Snaps is big. <laughs> I just thought it was kind of cute. Anyway, I probably should go. I probably should finish getting ready. Um, so thank you all again for hanging out. I really have had like so much fun uh, farming even just for a little bit today. I am unfortunately not going to be back until Monday. Um, I My flight, the thing is I might be landing kind of late, but I also might try and pop in for like an hour on Monday just to uh, check in and give um, some TwitchCon updates. We'll see how I'm feeling and how it goes because... I don't know, I might be tired, so who knows. <laughs> but I, I might come try and pop in and check in on everybody after TwitchCon on Monday. I'm sorry to be gone. It always feels weird to be gone, but I'm gonna go see who all is live. I have literally no idea because I don't usually get off stream at 8 a.m. <laughs> so I have no idea who to go and raid. <laughs> this isn't really my normal time. <laughs> um. Okay, I think maybe... I know what to do, actually. Okay, so um, there is another streamer um, called Joy that I like who is playing Palea right now. Um, and I thought it might be kind of fun to go over there. How about that? We don't usually get to raid Joy because I'm not usually live at the same time. Or not usually getting off at the same time, am I? <laughs> but playing Palea is fun. Uh, Palea is one of those cozy games that just came out that I've been meaning to play and haven't really done yet. Um, so we'll go over there and say hi and see it. Um, say hi for me, um, and I will catch you all in a few days. If you're going to be at TwitchCon, I don't know if anyone here is going to be at TwitchCon, because it's really early, so I don't know. Maybe they wouldn't be here. <laughs> it's like all the Vegas locals, they're not awake right now. They're not here. <laughs> they're not here. It is 5 a.m. They're not here. Um, Maggie will be at TwitchCon. Marissa will be at TwitchCon. A couple of my mods will be, but <laughs> Tilly will be there in spirit, yeah. Anyway, have a great rest of your night, though, everybody. Night? No, morning. It's 8 a.m. <laughs> have a great night, everyone, and I will catch you all later, okay? Um, yes, okay. Love you. Bye! <laughs> and stop streaming.